Hello, Greener Than a Gourd here. Welcome to my channel. Roll along with us as we learn how to be full-time RVers. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Here's a little information about how wood becomes petrified. A log is petrified when all of its original plant material is filled or replaced by minerals. Approximately 216 million years ago, these trees died and fell into a river. They were buried beneath layers of silt, mud, sand, and volcanic ash, which protected them from decay. Mineral-laden groundwater percolated through the layers, carrying silica from the volcanic ash and other trace material minerals. The absorbent dead wood became saturated with these minerals. The silica or quartz crystals slowly bonded with the cells of the tree, replicating the organic material in perfect detail. Eventually, silica replaced the wood material. Now this petrified forest is not made of wood, but of stone.
photographs here somewhere. Huh? Oh, can you see them over there? That big one right there? Yeah, right straight in front of us. See all the drawings on, on this one over here. Not as good as the ones we looked at by, by Grand Junction. Uh-uh. Wait, I can't see up here. Newspaper rock, they're talking. It must be because of uh, they're leaving. Uh, yeah, messages here. That's what it's called. As soon as I turn the camera off, the wife starts telling me all about I what just we just saw looked at. It. Okay, read it now to the people. Newspaper rock displays more than 650 petroglyphs, some over 2,000 years old. Whoa. I didn't see that many. How many? 650. Must have been on the back side of the rock. Yeah. Probably if you walk down there. Which neither one of us are going to do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you wanted to go see him. You can walk down there. I ain't walking down there. I don't think you can walk down there. What else you got to read to us? Uh, Before I shut the camera off again. That's it? That's now, it. I can shut it off now? So long. So long, she says. <laughs>